Hi, my name is Patrick Beichner, and this is my React portfolio site that I'm submitting as my honors graduation project. As you can see here, I used a lot of the same tools that we used in the React course to make the new camp site to make my portfolio site. Uh, the notable additions are the React Parallax component, which easily lets you create a parallax effect, and styled components and styled icons, which give you access to a number of icon sets that I use throughout the site. So let's take a look at the site to start. This is the home page. Uh, the home page is largely written as its own component since very little was uh, reused in the rest of the site. There's a menu bar at the top with a login modal. And then here you can see the parallax effect when you scroll with a background and foreground move at different speeds. Uh, this was really easy to create with the React parallax component. You just use the component, set a background image and the strength of the parallax effect and wrap that around whatever you want inside of it. So here I have the title, um, down here there's nothing, and then in the site you can see how it works. Uh, the next is in About Us page. This uses a different header component that the rest of the site will use. Um, it's a pretty simple page, not much to it. There is a contact us modal that pops up and allows you to spit your name and a question or a comment. And then the footer component, that's pretty basic. Uh, the tours component page is next. This uses an array of tour objects and I map through them and then render them as cards. Each one has a book button that you can click and it takes you to a new site with an image from the tour. Uh, the description, and then a booking component that renders this booking form. That's a controlled form. I use this again later, and it's a little different, but we'll come back to that. One of the cool things I found when making this page is that you can use props as a class name. So for each object, I set a C name property, and then in the tour component here, I set the C name as the class name, which allowed me to style them differently. So when you click this one, it renders with a different font as kind of a little Easter egg for this specific tour. Uh, the next page is the rentals page. Here I had an array of rentals objects that each have a different location, and I filter through and render the rural ones to one carousel and the urban ones to another. So when you click on each of these buttons they will show their respective carousels. Uh, when you click on the other one the first one hides and it shows the other one. I used React hooks to do this. It wasn't covered in the class but I did a bit of outside research and found that this was probably the cleanest way to do this uh, and it worked really well so I'm very happy with it. Um, and then each of these, when you click on them, it takes you to another page with an image of the rental. And then the booking component renders a different booking form. Uh, to do this, since tours are a one-day thing and a rental would be a, a check-in, check-out situation, I included a bit of logic in my component that checks the props for the type. And if it's a tour, it shows just one date. And if it's a rental, it'll show a date in and date out. Uh, so that's pretty much my site. Um, one of the biggest challenges for me in the React course was working with props and just wrapping my head around how they work and how they're passed around. So for this site, I tried to do a lot with that just to get a better understanding of it. And I, I'd say it worked really well for me. I think I have a pretty good understanding of props now and can go forward really well with that. Um, some of the things I liked about this project were how once I figured out props, it all came together in a pretty simple form, and I found I could do a lot of cool stuff uh, with that that I wouldn't have known to do otherwise. Um, so thanks for watching in closing. Um, it's my site. I have a few projects coming up. Uh, I'm going to be making a React Native version of this site just to reinforce what I learned in the React Native course. and keep learning. Uh, I'm also working on a Sudoku app and I have another project or two I'm working on with some classmates just to continue reinforcing and fill out my profile. So again, thank you for watching.